All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the class today. This is Abby here. Today we're going to be discussing an interesting topic about teen Botox. <laughs> Not something that I would talk about every day, but certainly an interesting topic. So if you want to join the conversation, just click on the green join class button on top of the chat box and we will be happy to have you. Hello, Sarah. How are you today? Hi. Great. Thank you. And you? I'm doing great, Sarah. It's nice to see you. Have I had you before in a class? No. It's my first time here. I mean, in Wimbledon's website. Fantastic. Well, it's nice to meet you, Sarah. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you. We also have with us Yana. Hi, Yana. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thanks for coming in. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to see some new faces here. Yes, I'm new here, so I'm sorry if I did something dumb. <laughs> well, actually, I'm fairly new as well, so don't worry. I might do something really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we also have with us Juan. Juan, I remember you. How are you doing? Uh, hello, I am doing good. How are you? Awesome. It's nice to see you again. Thank you for coming back. You're ready to tolerate another hour with me. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Marina. How are you? Marina Cueva, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Very good, Marina. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in today. And we have David. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, Damon. Thank you for asking. It's nice to meet all of you. Let's see, we have six of us here. So maybe let's go ahead and start um, with David. Maybe you'd like to introduce yourself. Um, tell us a little bit about where you're from. Go ahead, David. Okay, I'm uh, Jalal. My name is Jalal. I'm from uh, Algeria. Uh, yeah, it's my first uh, participate uh, in uh, your course. In your course. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you, David. This is only nice I think. To meet you too. I think this is only my fifth time in a Verblin class, so I'm fairly new as well. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for. Juan you. Manuel. Juan, I know who you uh -huh. are, but maybe you'd like to introduce yourself to the rest of the students here. Some of them are new. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Juan Manuel. I am from Mexico. Uh, this is my second class with teacher Avi. So you can tell everyone what a terrible teacher I am. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Okay, Marina, go ahead and introduce yourself to the class. Okay, I'm from Spain and uh, this is my first uh, class with you, but I've, uh, I've had, no, I've had with uh, other teachers. Other, I have had. Okay. And you can normally, say I normally I speak with uh, other person a conversation only with uh, a person from other countries. No, okay, I but, see. Uh, but through the Berlin, through, I'll say, a través de, through. That's through perfect. Berlin. You could say through verbling. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. okay? <laughs> awesome. And you could say I have had classes with other teachers using that past perfect tense. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> If ever you need help, I always make notes in the chat box just to keep you, give you a visual of what we're talking about there. So if ever um, I hear a correction, I'll always make a note of it in the chat and you can always write it down, okay? Okay, okay. Awesome. Okay, we also have with us Nowseth. Nowseth, can you hear me okay? 
now says Mohammed. Okay, maybe you can't hear me. Let's move over to Samuel. Hi, Samuel. How are you? Hello. How are you? I'm doing great, Samuel. Where are you from? Hey, I am from Spanish. You're from Spain? Yes. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And tell us a little bit about yourself, Samuel. What do you do? Are, are you in school or do you work? Tell us about yourself. I don't understand. Sorry. That's, um, that's okay. What do you do? Do you go to school? Yes. Yeah. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you, Samuel. Thank you for coming to class. Igualmente. You speak Spanish. Si, hablo español. You could say the same. You could say the same to you. Okay. Eh, what is el same to you? Igualmente is the same to you. Uh, oh, me as well. Um, me as well is is good too or no? Hey. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You could say that as well. Okay. Okay. Sarah, could you introduce yourself to the rest of the class for us? Okay, hi, I'm Sarah, I'm from Tunisia, and I work as a teacher at university. I teach uh, ESP, English for Specific Purposes, and this is my first time here on Verbling website, so that's it. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Sarah, English for Specific Purposes, can you give me an example of maybe a topic that you would like to teach? Uh, I teach like um, I prepare students for for uh, I mean to to be ready for the work field, like how to deal with emails, how how to send emails. I mean like uh, order or or um, or uh, dealing with customers, something like that. Very good, awesome. So, do you have a lot of business clients? Maybe people who need business for their, or sorry, English for their businesses. Yeah, they are students of uh, international commerce. Excellent. Well, that's really good. Congratulations. I think um, yeah, verbling will be you. good to um, verbling will help you to work on your fluency. So, keep up yeah, the good work. Hope so. Hope so. You sound great. Your English is really, really good. Congratulations. Thank you. Diana, could you're also new with Verbling. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, well, I'm a student, but I'm graduating this year. And so I'm looking forward to find a better job because I didn't have almost any. <laughs> well, um, what to tell you about myself. I really like languages. I learned, well, I learned and still keep doing that English and I also like Spanish. <laughs> Hola Marina. Uh, y, um, and um, I would like to learn many languages like also Portuguese or German and French. Uh, and I don't know. I like just perfect myself about anything, and language is one of these points. <laughs> so Wonderful. Wow, Sarah, you have one of those brains that I wish that I had where you can learn several languages. <laughs> That's amazing. You, I think if you try, you might do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I'll stop at Spanish. <laughs> 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 That's good though. Congratulations. You sound really good. And uh, our next student here is Aneha. Aneha, how are you? Um, I'm sorry, I think I might be pronouncing your name incorrectly. Ene Aneda. Okay. 
I don't understand the characters in your name. I'm really sorry, but um, if there are any questions, we have a few new ones jo joining us again. We have Hazam. Hazam. Mm. Hello, Hazam. How are you today? Okay. Well, it looks like we are full, so we can go ahead and get started. It is very nice to meet all of you and have you in class today. Now, just to warm up and to use our English a little bit, what we're going to do is discuss a quick question. I want to know what is your favorite food and if you know how to prepare it. Okay, so that's the question. What is your favorite food and do you know how to prepare it? Okay, um, rice. <laughs> So let's go ahead and start with David. Tell me about your favorite food and describe it to us. Use your English as much as you can. Yes, I will. I will talk. Yes, I will. Uh, I will uh, talk to you about uh, our uh, special uh, special food in Algeria. Uh, his name is its name is uh, couscous. But uh, do you do you know? Yes, it's one of my favorites. Okay, but uh, but I don't know how it uh, pre how it prepare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who prepares the couscous for you? Uh, my mom. <laughs> oh, what a nice mom! Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. What about you, Hazem? What's your favorite food, and do you know how to prepare it? Hi teacher, how are you? Hi everyone. Hello, good to see you again, Hassam. Thank you Thank for you. coming in. Thank you. Uh, my favorite uh, dishes is um, a fish. <laughs> it is easy to uh, cook uh, it. Just uh, uh, put it in the oven <laughs> and uh, make some. Uh, how I say? Uh, uh, I don't know uh, <laughs> how I don't know how to uh, uh, express how to cook uh, it. But, uh, it's easy for me to prepare uh, these uh, dishes. Okay, very good. So, how do you like to season your fish? Do you put sauce on it? Maybe some lime, some salt. What do you like on your fish? Yeah, I put some of lemon and some of uh, with the spicy. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think like that. That sounds excellent. Thank you yeah. for sharing that with us. What about you, Juan Fernando? What's your favorite food and how do you prepare it? Juan Fernando. Can you hear us? Looks like Juan Fernando cannot hear us. I'm going to move on to Juan Manuel. Tell us about your favorite food. Um, um, could be uh, spaghetti, but uh, to be honest, I don't know how to prepare the spaghetti. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Your microphone is cutting in and out, in and out, so I can't hear you perfectly, but I heard that you like spaghetti and you do not know how to prepare it. Is that right? Yeah, sure. That's right. I thought you were going to say burritos because that's my favorite Mexican food. <laughs> you don't, well, you don't, actually, you don't I like don't like... No, it's that um, burritos is not so eaten, eaten here in Mexico, but this 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 food become popular in United States, so they really eat a lot of burritos there. But in Mexico is is not I don't know if men in the north of the country, but no, not a lot of people eat burritos. Mmm, that sounds like um, a typical thing that happens with that kind of cultural food, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing that. 
Marina, I would love to hear about your favorite food. I'm sure Spain has a lot to offer, so tell us about it. Okay, my my best friend, oh, my best friend, my <laughs> my favorite uh, food is spaghetti too, and uh, I I know prepare prepare it, it but uh, I don't like so much uh, cook. <laughs> I normally my man cook for me, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but uh, I I know prepare prepare it uh, spaghetti. And other food, other other foods, other foods. Yeah, that's perfect. And other foods, just like that. It sounds like the Italians are taking over the world with their cuisine. Everybody loves Italian food, like spaghetti and things like that. Isn't that true? Yeah, yes. I know that um, Spanish food is very famous and uh, it's very good uh, food, but um, I prefer Italian food. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay. Wonderful. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, let's go over to um, Nauset. If you can hear us now, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Nauset from Sri Lanka. Hello, I'm Nauset from Sri Lanka. Hi. Hi, Nauset. Hello. It's um we cannot hear you very good. It sounds like maybe your microphone has a little bit of distortion. No, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead now, Sith, and tell us about um yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming into the class today. Your first time in the class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Well, we are actually going to get started. I know we have some new students who have joined us, but it's time to get started. Now, something that will help... I lost my... Something that will help is if you mute your microphone. Um, Jarmila, welcome. If if you are not using your microphone, just click on the mute button at the top right-hand corner because there seems to be a little bit of feedback making it difficult to hear, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to send you a document in the chat box. There we go should be able to see that. Now just click on that link and it'll open up to our ESL class for today. And once we have that open, maybe Samuel, are you ready? Do you have that open? Uh, how? Have you opened the, the link in the chat box? Uh, I go open the link uh, right now. Okay, perfect. Open it up and we'll take a look at it, okay? Okay. Samuel, you are perfect for this class. I because don't, it, uh, I don't see the link. In the chat. I don't see it. In the verb link chat, right there. Okay, okay. Yes, I I have got the link open. Perfect. Okay, Samuel, I want you to read under pre-reading warm-up questions. In in. I want you to read number one. Uh, here. Uh, the questions. Yes, the, please. The, uh, uh, do you ever worry about getting wrinkles and starting to look older? Very good. Do you understand the question? Um, more or less. I don't understand wrinkles. 
<laughs> That's okay. We're going to help you. Does anyone want to describe what are wrinkles? Who can help Samuel? What are wrinkles? I don't don't know. Anyone else? It's when uh, someone gets older <laughs> and their skin uh, becomes uh, not beautiful and old. <laughs> these these are wrinkles. <laughs> Yes, so wrinkles are like the lines on your face, yeah. these lines that come with age and then they stay there permanently. Those are wrinkles. Okay, Samuel? Uh, okay. I, I understand. So do you ever worry about getting wrinkles? Do you ever think about that, Samuel? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't know what. Uh, uh, respond. Preocupe usted de tenerlos. A los de. De tenerlos qué. Do you worry or preocupar is to worry. Sí. Do you ever think, oh no, I'm going to get wrinkles. Preocupate de tener los wrinkles. Ajá, las líneas en su cara. Mm, more or less, yes. <laughs> What about you, Sarah? Let's ask Sarah the same question. Sarah, do you ever worry about getting wrinkles and looking old? Well, uh, I'm still uh, 24 years. Still too uh, early to think about this, I think. <laughs> You would think so, wouldn't you? That's why our article today is so interesting. Um, yeah. Yana, Yana, could you read question number two? Sure. Uh, how, how do many movie stars and other famous celebrities keep their youthful appearances? Excellent pronunciation. What do you think, Yana? What's your opinion? Uh, how many? I think almost all of them because they worry about their wrinkles and just about their appearance uh, because it's really important for them and just it makes their image and I think uh, they all do some uh, surgeries and different uh, I don't know cosmetical operations probably I don't know how to call it exactly I mean uh, Maybe some special masks and some in, uh, injection or so to keep their face or their body young. Although well, it is impossible, but they try. Very good. Yeah, it is impossible, isn't it? It's the inevitable. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, David, are you leaving us now? Okay, David. If you are if you're leaving, that's okay. But if not, you can read question number three. Okay, let's go over to Amdi. Hi, Amdi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Wonderful. Go ahead and read question number three in the document. Are cosmetics surgeries and other cosmetics treatments to maintain useful looks common in your country? I think it's common in all over the world. Plastic surgery and the cosmetics it is being um, very popular and familiar. Excellent. Very good. Youthful. Everybody wants to look youthful, right? And you're from Egypt, right? Did I remember that correctly? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So people in Egypt are interested in cosmetic surgery. I think the uh, movie stars and uh, yeah, th this is the people, the most uh, most important people. Yeah, look for this kind of surgery. Okay, very good. Is it expensive to get cosmetic surgery in Egypt? 
uh, no, I think it's became uh, more cheaper than than uh, before. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing that with us. Your English sounds Thank great you. today. Thank you. Let's go over to Hazem. Hazem, could you read number four for us and maybe yes. give us your opinion? Yes. Uh, have you uh, ever heard of botox injection to get rid of uh, w uh, wrinkles? Right? Very good uh, pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, yes, I I heard of uh, botox injection injection. Um, uh, uh, this uh, uh, can uh, uh, make uh, the person to look uh, to have a good looking, right? Uh, exactly uh, when uh, they get old in uh, their lifetime. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's good. That's a good description of what it is. Yeah. Um, thank you for sharing that with us, Hazam. Is it common in your country? Uh, yes, I think yes. <laughs> I think the botox injection uh, becomes uh, common in each country, not in my uh, country. <laughs> mm hmm. I think you're right. I think I would agree with you and Amdi. Okay, Marina, let's read number five before we get into our reading. Do you want to read it for us and give us your opinion? Yes. Um, how much do you think about those injections cost and uh, how long do you think it lasts? Okay, um, I think it costs a lot of, this is, um, it's very expensive and um, and how long uh, I think it lasts? I don't know. I think it uh, lasts only a few months, no? Some months. I don't know. And uh, uh, some, uh, the people say to me that uh, later it is worse because worse is worse later than you put Botox. Okay, so you could say um, people have told me that your wrinkles your wrinkles are worse than before botox yeah yeah do you want to read that out loud for us yes because um and uh, when if you have a wrinkles and um, and you 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 inject Botox, uh, later is, is worse. Uh, your face is worse than the beginner. Okay, and very I don't good. Know, explain. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Your face is worse than before. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's move on then. We have a picture right underneath those questions there. And hi, um, Nahuel, how are you? Hello. Nice to meet you, Nahuel. Where are you from? I'm a Spanish. Very nice. From Do you see the... Madrid. From Madrid, Spain. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. So underneath those questions, Nahuel, you will see a picture. Do you see it? Yes, I can. Tell me, what do you see happening in that picture? Describe it to me. There is a doctor injecting, I think it's Botox, in the eyebrow uh, you know, to a woman. Whoa! Excellent description. Your eyebrow into nice use of that preposition. Round of applause for Nahuel. That was awesome. Excellent job. So let's start the reading. We're going to start with Botox use by teens. What's a teen, Nahuel? Can you tell me? A uh, teenager. Uh, Very good. A, a kid. Between the ages of what and what? Uh, 13 to 19. Perfect. Excellent, excellent job. So let's head over to Nausith. And could you read the first paragraph for us? Yes. In 2005, nearly 3 million American women and men 
had bad axe injections to help them look younger. Since 2002, a new trend has been emerging. The use of Botox by teenagers just out of high school. Fantastic. Very good reading. Nice pronunciation there, too, with words like trend and emerging. Excellent. Now, Seth, what is this new trend? Uh, now, now, Seth. Okay. What is the new trend? Yeah. Uh, I, don't have, sorry, I don't have an idea. Can you please uh, give me some explanation or me? Okay. Now, Seth, I can't hear you. You have a lot of um, noise maybe behind you. Could you? Is there any way you could just make it a little bit quieter so we could actually hear you? We want to hear you speak English. Okay. okay, give me one minute to do the end setup. Okay, while we're doing that, we're going to get Samuel. Samuel, can you tell me what is the new trend? What did you notice in that paragraph? Uh, what sort? Uh, new, what is the new trend? According to that first paragraph we read, what is the new trend? Um. Uh, uh, it's a it's a a problem uh, in the look of the person. Okay, people are concerned about their appearance. Excellent job, very very good. Sarah, can you tell us about a new trend that people are noticing? Well, uh, the new trend is the use of Botox by teenagers. Fantastic. Excellent description, Sarah. And I want to know what you think about that. I think it's dangerous because of the secondary effects of the Botox that after, I mean, after months, it will disappear and, and there is some uh, secondary effects that will affect uh, I mean, the, teen the teenager. Absolutely, right? You said secondary effects. You could also use the word side effects if you wanted to. Wonderful description. Thank you, Sarah. Yana, could you read the next Hello. paragraph for us? Um, next paragraph. Uh, Botox is a chemical substance. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Sorry, Hello? Yana. Yes, yes, Yana, we can hear you perfectly. Hi, Zahara. Uh, okay. We can hear you. We're just going to get Yana to read a paragraph for us, okay? I'll send okay. you the link in the chat box. So, am I reading? Should I? Yes. Yes, please, Yana. Okay. Go ahead and yeah. read that. Okay. Botox is a chemical substance that is uh, injected into the skin and facial wrinkles. Uh, it works by paralyzing the muscles that cause wrinkles to form. Uh, buttocks injections usually cost about $300 and uh, last about four months. Okay, excellent pronunciation. That's really, really good, Yana. I wanted to bring out, um, could you repeat one word for me? It's Botox. So we. Botox. A really long O sound there for the first syllable, bo, and then a short O for the second. So, bo tox. Bo tox. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. So, now what do you think? Is it worth it? Is it really worth it to get a Botox injection? Uh, no, I think it's not worth it because I don't believe that it helps. I think it really makes it worse. Like somebody already said, uh, because in the end, uh, the skin becomes worse, and I don't think it looks uh, beautiful because it is. Um, it looks like face is really paralyzed because it um, like reflects on your um, emotional muscles. I mean that uh, when you smile, your smile is already different <laughs> than it was before. 
so I don't I don't believe in it, and I don't think it's good. I think there are some more some better um, not injections, but some uh, like services in by of um, cosmetologists who can help you with it, but not injections. Okay, very good. Thank you for that detailed explanation. That's awesome, <laughs> Yana. Um, you definitely have a very beautiful face. So you definitely don't need Botox. <laughs> uh, thank you. Maybe when we're maybe in twenty years, we'll feel differently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go over to Zahara. Zahara, welcome. Thank you for coming into the class. Can you hear us? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Do you have the document open in front of you? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and read the next paragraph. Okay, Botox can be used to treat a serious medical condition, but most people only know about its ability to prevent wrinkles. The government approved its cosmetic use about 10 years ago, and doctors think it's, it is safe and effective. Fantastic reading. Very, very good. Um, Zahara, where are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Your English is fantastic. Really good accent when you're reading. Yeah, thank you so much. Very, very nicely done. So what are some reasons that people might get Botox? What did you notice there? Yeah, because you know when people, you know, getting older, they become a crazy about your, you know, you know, beauty, especially women. They want to, you know, everyone, not in, you know, want to stay. I think forever young, they want my appearance and the face uh, like young. Everyone want like this, you know, for for that. But in this paragraph, doctors are agree. They say. Uh, uh, they said uh, the uh, this you know medicine uh, safe and effective for you know face cosmetic surgery something like that it's okay yeah very good you do you think you would agree with the doctors I don't know because I am also a beautician uh, but not like uh, as a cosmetic uh, but uh, you know. I saw in my life when you know clients come in my parlor, and I saw some got some problem with cosmetic surgery. Yes, definitely. Well, thank you for sharing that with us, MD. I'd like to know what you think. What do you think besides Botox? What is an effective way to stay looking young? What's an effective way to try to maintain a youthful appearance? I think uh, um, should uh, try to choose our food, uh, try to eat uh, healthy food, uh, try to exercise daily, but but not to uh, um, get a shot of uh, botox. That's not the on <laughs> this is, this is not the only that's uh, not uh, the proper way. This is I I hear that uh, the Botox is the main cause of uh, cancer, mm. especially when uh, this injection run over inside your bodies. So this uh, have very serious problems. Yeah, that's a good point. You mentioned eating healthy, exercising, right? Two really positive ways to try and maintain a youthful appearance. Um, Hazam. What do you think is would be good foods to eat to maintain a youthful appearance? What kind of food? I think um, uh, the uh, the best uh, uh, type of food uh, to to eat uh, vegetable. I think is um, uh, more uh, healthy for the uh, the to our skin and. Um, I agree with uh, Hamdi. Uh, we must uh, do exercise every day, and uh, uh, yeah, we uh, eat uh, healthy food. Uh, uh, I don't prefer uh, people to uh, to uh, to uh, 
have a hypotex injection because after uh, in the course of the time, uh, I think uh, this uh, um, operation or this uh, will uh, leave uh, our this spot on the skin of the people. You know, maybe uh, they will uh, uh, turn into the uh, black spot. I think. Okay, very good. Yeah. Those are some really good points. Thank you for sharing that with us. Marina, do you have anything else to add or would you like to move on to the next paragraph? Marina. Marina, can you hear me? Okay, sorry. I've uh, the microphone off. Enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, right, uh, I'm going to read the next uh, paragraph. Yes, please. Okay. Um, Botox can be used to be, to treat serious medical conditions, but most most of me ah, but most people only know about its ability to prevent wrinkles. Um, I think maybe we're on a different paragraph here. We're on teenagers who decide to use... Oh, okay, okay, sorry. sorry. That's okay, go ahead. <laughs> teenagers who decide to use Botox have a theft societ societ ah, societies? 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 So, yeah, so, okay, societies view that only the young or, and uh, those who look young are beautiful. Magazines and movies have combined them and many others that they must look young and beautiful to decide to success in the world. They also see their mothers, their older sisters, and even their fathers using Botox and, uh, as a way to say younger looking. I'm sorry, I, I read very, very bad. No, that was good, Marina. I just want you to repeat one word. It's succeed. Sec? Succeed. No. Ah, so, so exactly. No. Succeed. 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 Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> Yay, Marina. Nice reading. Thank you for that. That was a long paragraph. That was difficult, but you did a great job. So let's talk about society's view of beauty. Marina, just a quick comment from you. Um, who do you think influences teenagers? Who who do they look to for those for that information? Okay. Who who um okay, the the young people look at uh, um magazines, um with um, with uh, the mothers and uh, uh, every teenagers want um, appear like like um, these mothers. Very know. good, okay. excellent. So now, well, do you think that's realistic? No, I think that uh, the magazine, uh, uh, the photos isn't real. It's not real. The the models. Um, and uh, in the TV, in the publicity, uh, isn't real. Okay, very good. Nahuel, what's your opinion? Well, it's true that uh, the young people is com is uh, is accepting the view of famous and celebrities, but uh, well. Uh, they have to decide. They have to make his ca the character for decide what what is better or what is not. Excellent. That's true. Now, what do you think, Nahuel? What does it mean to be convinced of something? To be convinced. What does that mean? It's like mm, take a decision <laughs> that you receive. <coughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Say kind of opinion that you heard 
uh, from someone or do something that that somebody says. Oh, okay, very good. So if you're convinced of something, Ahmed in the chat has given us a good option to believe something. <laughs> Another way is to be sure of, okay, to be sure of something. So they are sure that what the magazines say is, is really true, it's real. Hello, Ruben, can you hear us? Hello, I can hear us. Nice to meet you, Ruben. I nice want to get your opinion. You. What do you think? What do you think about what the paragraph says there? Do you think that you have to be young and beautiful to be successful? I think uh, a lot of teenagers, uh, uh, they believe uh, will be will be able to be beautiful if uh, they receive this kind of of substance in their bodies but uh, I think it isn't uh, convenient uh, to their bodies because it is unhealthy excellent good opinion thank you for sharing that with us Ruben you're right it's not healthy at all Samuel what do you think you need to be successful? Uh, is, uh, 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 for in the relas uh, um, I don't understand who the well the question. You repeat please. What do you need to be successful para tener éxito? ¿Qué necesita? Sí, ya entendí. Mm, pues, eh, eh, in, in what, what, eh, ¿en qué tener éxito? We're talking about work, maybe your career, life in general to be successful with friends, your job, your career. What is one, just name one thing that you need to have to be successful. Uh, working, uh, working, okay, uh, so you, work, no, no, that's true, that's true, you could say to be hard working. Working is necessary. Uh, hard working. Mm. That's good. Uh, no sé. I want you to repeat this, Samuel. You need to be hard working. Can you repeat that sentence? You need to be hard working. Perfect. Excellent job. Good pronunciation. Sarah, what do you think you need to have or to do to have success in life? Uh, you mean in the text or? Your opinion. Ah, uh, my opinion. Okay. Uh, I think you need to work hard to achieve your goals. Excellent. Is there anything else you'd like to add to that? Um. No, that's all I think. Okay, very good. Anyone else want to add anything to that answer? You have to work hard. Is there anything else anyone can think of? Yeah, must be loyal, hardworking, mm. and um, uh, well educated. Have many skills. I like those answers, Ambi. That's perfect. Well educated, be skillful or be good at what you do, right? Um, loyalty, that's a good one. To be loyal. Nice. Motivation. Okay, very good. Motivation, to be motivated. Be motivated. Anything else? Creative. Creative, yeah, that's right. 
Awesome. You guys are doing really, really good. Okay, Yana, let's go on to the next paragraph. Can you read it for us? Sure. Uh, these teenagers uh, think that Botox uh, will help them look young for a longer time. They save their money from part-time jobs or asking their parents for money to pay for the injections, uh, which can add up to over $1,000. Uh, dollars yeah, or a year. Okay. So do you think it's a good idea for a parent to lend their child money so they can get Botox? Um, I wouldn't give my money to my child. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's right. It depends on your relationship uh, with your parents, of course, but I think it's not right. Uh, because uh, it's harmful for your body and oh. it's the same to uh, show the way to kill you to your kid. <laughs> Yeah, that's very good. Not giving a bit, maybe the best example, right? MD, what do you think would be a good reason to lend your child some money? What would be a good reason? No, I, I disagree really. I'm not recommend. But uh, if so, I think uh, to be maybe a movie star or something like this. Okay, so listen carefully to the question. If you were going to lend your child some money, what would be a good reason to lend them money? Maybe not getting Botox, but something else. Uh -huh, what would be a yeah. good thing? Yeah, I think I, 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 maybe I'm going to lend them uh, money, maybe to be um, more educated, uh, to, okay. uh, yeah, to improve their uh, skills, mm -hmm. um, be skillful. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good reason yeah. for sure, right? Maybe yeah. their schooling, their university education. Very good. Hazem, could you read the next paragraph for us? Other people believe that the uh, option, uh, option, obsession, obsession with the youth is not good for anyone. They believe that too many of today's Teenagers think more about how they look than about how they can contribute to society. They also worry that using Botox will soon be as common as getting a haircut uh, or going shopping. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good reading. Um, Hazem, what are some good ways that someone can contribute to society? What are some good ways they can do that? I think uh, we, we can contribute um, in a good way when uh, we try to uh, offer a good things to our society, uh, right? When we uh, have a, a good education, we have a good uh, skills in many uh, in different uh, topics, we will uh, 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 improve uh, uh, our society, right? Uh, okay, so you think good education yeah. and then yeah. how how might someone use education to contribute to society? Any ideas? Um, yeah, uh, when we in, invent uh, a new um, a new tools okay. uh, that, that's, <laughs> that uh, uh, benefit uh, uh, our uh, uh, country, right? Wonderful. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And, uh, when when concentrate on scientific uh, research, that is will uh, be uh, more useful for uh, for us and for our countries. As well. Very good. So maybe an invention to contribute to yeah. society. Nicely yeah. done. Marina, what about you? What do you think, how could you use education to contribute to society? Marina, how could you use education to contribute to society? What do you think? Uh, about Botox or other thing? How can you use education to contribute to society? Okay, but about the appearance, 
uh, your physique or other things? Uh, right now we're talking about how teenagers should be thinking about how they can contribute to society more than what they think about their appearance. Okay. So um, how might a teenager contribute to society? You must explain the, the, that uh, it's not only uh, the, the appearance is not only the, the most important thing, but uh, you must explain that there, there are other things import, um, more important than the appearance. Okay, the physical, I don't know. That's okay. Very good. And like, um, like Azim said, you could maybe use something like um, an invention to contribute to society. Perhaps something like um, if you decide to study to be a doctor, that contributes to society. That gives something back, right? Ruben, are you there? Can you read the last paragraph for us? Yes. As long as society you view staying young as the highest for of self-improvement, more and more young people will, will turn to Botox to keep looking young. Okay. So what is the trend? What's the summary of this idea, Ruben? What is the idea presented in this paragraph? Uh, I think uh, the young, uh, the young people, uh, uh, thinks think uh, the bottles is the best way to to keep uh, to keep young. Fantastic! That's exactly it, and that's honestly how young people feel today, right? This article was written in 2009, so I, I don't imagine the idea would have changed that much, right? Okay. Samuel, I want you to explain something to me. Are you ready? Okay. What is the question? <laughs> I want you to ex Oh, somebody's having some mic problems there. Okay. I, I don't, I don't care, right? your mic I think your microphone's making some noise. There we go. Okay, Samuel, what are wrinkles and when do people get them? Mm, wrinkles is a uh, uh, lines of the face, no? Yes. Uh, yeah. it, 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 at the moment, uh, they uh, 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 at the moment, you set them up with uh, age. Okay, with age. With so age. you can say people get them. People get them when they get older. Yikes, we're getting lots of noise. Okay, can everyone hear okay? I think we're getting some a lot of microphone noise there, but um, there we go. That's better. So people get wrinkles when they get older. Sarah, what do you think is more important than looking young and beautiful? What's more important than that, Sarah? Um, I think being well educated and well cultivated, and I mean, like, um, ouch. Hello? We can hear you, Sarah. Go ahead. I hope that fixed the noise there. Okay, as I said, uh, being well cultivated and educated and being, I mean, like, um, knowing what happens in the world, having an idea about what happens all over the world is more important than being beautiful or looking young. Wonderful. That's a that's a really good way to sum up what we were discussing today. And Jana, any last minute thoughts? What do you think about how teenagers can actually contribute to society? Is it through their looks? Is it through how they appear? Um, 
I think uh, mass media is very contributing to teenagers. So uh, the less um, advertisements, commercials, and movies or celebrities, I don't know, uh, propagands, all these things like um, injections, water injections, uh, the less uh, they will do it. I Excellent. Very good. Any last points or questions about vocabulary? Anything that we've discussed today that anyone would like to ask about? No, it's clear. No, it's clear. It's clear. What is your opinion about both? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's important. Did you say what's, what is my opinion? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are, are you using uh, Spotex? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only I am only 25 years old, so to me Botox would be silly, obviously. But um, I guess my opinion is. Oh, like me. If you're if you're going to do cosmetic surgery, do something more permanent. <laughs> but really, I. But, I there is two points, please. Number one, we can use a surgery and uh, cosmetic surgery in case of any accident. We can there fix you some. Go. This is not touched in the article. This is number no. one. No. Yeah. Number two, you didn't emphasize on the side effect of botox. Uh, side effect is very dangerous. It is the main cause of the cancer. Mm -hmm. it must all people know about this one. Wonderful. You're right, Amdi. Excellent contributions there. Thank you for sharing. Thank all you. right. Well, that is that is all the time. I have to close the class because I open for the next hour as well. But thank you, everybody. It was awesome to meet some of our new students here with thank Verbling. You. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you to you. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.